Hi, this is Eric Martin, Report Game Geek. I'm here with Bez Shahri Hari. Shahri Hari. Yes. Uh, the designer of Stuff by Bez, including Wibble. Yes. Which is a game system. Indeed. Uh, I'm really excited about Wibble, and I honestly, I know this sounds pessimistic because it's almost like you're saying this is my apex and now it's all downhill from here, <laughs> but I feel like this will be the best thing I ever make. Okay. Because, um, yeah, I brought a menu here. I'm not focusing on this today because it's Saturday, the busiest day, okay. but um, on Thursday and Friday, I was showing people a bunch of these games. So you've got Wibble, which is a word game, okay. of course. You've got Grabble, you've, which is a dexterity game. You've got Phrasal, which is a party game of making people laugh with your phrases. You've got Fable, a storytelling activity. You've got Alphabetical, a completely um, abstract thing that someone else made up okay. using these cards. Using and that's when I realized, yeah, this should become a system rather than just containing it to myself. Okay. Basically, so I don't- So give an example of Wibble or which, okay. whichever, what you so, want to do. Let me show you the eponymous Wibble. Okay. You've got two cards down here. Uh, you play as well. Okay. Sh shout out any word that contains one of these letters and one of these letters. For Knob. Knob. Yeah. And then you can take a card. Okay. Now you've got to do one of these, one of these, and one from each card in front of you. While you are only doing these two. Exactly. All so I can say sun, but, but S-U-N. Whereas you could say for example. Flash. Yes, but I was first. So I take a card, and then it goes on. Flash. Slash. No, flash. Yep. I mean, it's still there. And nice. I, I want to choose the thing to take that would be okay. easier to use. If I'm going to have an S sure. in here, it's going to be easier to use than those things. None. N-O-N-E. OK. And at some point, we're going to fail. Well, it gets to four cards. Oh, OK. So if you were to say... Um, flash? I'm going to keep saying flash every single so, time. You can't repeat words. There is a rule. Yes. You cannot repeat words. Okay. You cannot re have derivatives of words that you've said before. So okay. if I say explore, you cannot say exploration or exploratory or explorer or anything like that. Okay. And that's basically it. Um, when you, let's say you were really good, you got that we'll four We'll say that, yes. Yes, because you are the great Eric Martin. <laughs> and then on your fifth card, they all turn over, and now we start again. Okay. And if you want, you can make it difficult and play with handicaps. And but so that's one game. Okay. The other game, for example, is you have all the cards spread out on the table. Right. And um, yeah, just. Okay. And what you've got to do on the count of three, this you slap the card into the palm of one hand and then you grab cards that match either the bad border or one of the letters. Ah. So this I could keep going for um, borders, and then eventually I'm going to think, oh, I need to grab an S. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ha ha. Dick. And then, so at any point you can say grabble and stop playing, okay. but if you do that, you get 10 bonus points. And so the other person gets as many points as there are cards on the table. Okay. And, and th this is only this is not only two player. You can play no, any number. Well, up to seven is what I recommend. Okay. And as you can imagine, the more players you have, the crazier it gets. Oh, yeah. And so as soon as you think there's less than ten cards, you want to slap your cards and I say Scrabble. Scrabble. Okay. Oh, you said it first. So I only get three I was bonus points. You get ten. So mm. if you meet. I think you've won anyway. Okay. So that's a dexterity game. And then there's other games. There's, I think that's enough. Okay. Should we show a third yeah, one? Yeah, show some variety here. Okay. Sure, we'll do another one. One more. Um, alphabetical. So I take a card. I'm going to accept or decline the card. It can go at the start or end of my alphabetical sequence okay. whilst considering one letter from each card. So if I take this, it, it can either, I can put it here, for example, D to I, mm -hmm. but I'm skipping E, F, G, H, and I am never allowed to u take those cards again. Okay. So I might not take that. You might want that because B, D is very close. Okay. And now you get the next card. 
and you can either take it. But you're only working on one row, you're or you're working on, on two. one letter from each card. Okay. So now you can use this as a T or an M, but these ones are now fixed. Yeah. So I'll do that because I to M I think is pretty good. Okay. And, and if I pass you something, you can just reject it. I can reject it, okay. and as soon as someone gets to 11 cards, okay. then they win. Okay. And so, I would reject that, okay. and I assume you reject okay. it. Yes. Um, MN, clearly. And now it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I'm not letting you have that. Okay. And so you've got to think a little bit about what the other person wants. Yeah, that's rubbish. Oh, okay. So I've got five here. No. Um, and you keep CDE. going back. And then you keep going until you've got 11. Okay. So 11 is a good number because I found that with that, you've got an ability to um, Normally you hit it before the deck runs out, but at the same time, if you are you can't grab everything because then you run out, you get your A and you get the end letters right. and you just yeah can't do anything. All right. And so you can really screw yourself in this game. <laughs> you can play it with sure. kids, but you might want to help them a bit. Right. Okay. Alright, so there we go, an overview of the Wibble Plus Plus system. And um, yes. There's going to be more games coming out for that. Okay. Um, in the box there will be five games, and every year on Best Day, which I've decided is August the 1st, and you better put it in your calendar, Mr. Martin. Okay. Any particular reason? August? Well... August has no real holidays, at least in the Yeah, US I mean, there's system. nothing like um, Generation Convention or... Yeah. Well, there's Gen Con, but I'm just oh, talking that's about... that's what it's I'm, called. I'm course. talking about actual... You know, holidays. August is a wasteland of hotness. Okay. Sorry, I thought you were being sarcastic as no, well. No, no, no. Okay, you were. That's not a holiday. That's work. Well, it's holiday for normal people. But um, no, in all sincerity, um, basically my first game in a bind, I delivered to backers at UK Games Expo, which was June, and then I promised them that I'd give them two months of exclusivity, okay. and then for in a bind junior, I wanted to do the same. And August, August the 1st well. happened again. And so I figured, you know what, I'll make a tradition out of it. This year, not many people knew about it, but okay. if you did know, there was a game for sale, there was a free game on my website, there was a Kickstarter where you could get original art for only one pound. Okay. There was um, a party in London, and next year it'll be even better. Okay. And there you go. So Mark it on the calendar here. Goes to Kickstarter backers in April. Normal people, if you missed the Kickstarter already, Normal. August the 1st, best day. Yes, there you go, best day. Best thanks day! For the, thanks for the overview, Wibble.